In this video, we will take up the concepts of current. Current is defined as the rate at which charge flows through a surface. So if you think of Q, charge, as being like position, then current is like velocity. Okay, so this is like electricity electrical engineering, electrical circuits, and this is what's called mechanics. And there really is this kind of strong connection be through the concept of energy between these two. So we'll define current as being the amount of charge per time that goes through some surface. So here's some surface, so it could be a wire, could be a gas, and there's this Q, and what we're doing is we're basically setting here with a clock. Think of it as a little, some sort of stopwatch here. And this clock is running, and we're counting the amount of charge that goes through this little shaded area and dividing by delta T. Now it's important to understand that you can have not just positive charge, but you could also have negative charge going the other way. In fact, for some materials, it's far more likely that the charge carrier is negative. But whether a negative charge goes through here or a positive charge goes this way, the effect is the same. So let's say that this was one Coulomb negative, and this was plus one Coulomb, and this was plus two coulombs, then the net effect here would be a plus three coulombs that direction. Because this minus coulomb leaves behind a positive one coulomb on the other side. So a negative charge going one way is equivalent to a positive charge going the other way. People did not know in the time of Ben Franklin in particular what charge was. They had no atomic view of theory or anything, and yet all through the 1800s they were building these electrical devices. They had to make some decision as to what they called the direction of current. And just like they chose arbitrarily positive charge to be one material rubbed on glass and negative a different material rubbed on it, they did kind of an arbitrary thing here. So for electrical engineers and physicists in particular, we define the direction of positive current flow to be the direction that positive charge flows. Now it could be that the charge that's flowing is all negative, but that wouldn't matter. All these negative charges might be going this way. We would define the current to be in the opposite direction, the direction that positive charge flows. So let me show you that. We have two examples here. One is this example where we have some positive charges and they're going this away. Then the current, I, goes in that direction. That's the direction of positive current. In my second example, I have electrons, and the electrons are some other negatively charged people, maybe they're negative ions, going this away. But the current, if I was using an ammeter or anything else to measure the current, the current would say that it's going that away. All right, so the direction of current is opposite the direction that the negative charges flow. It's in the same direction the positive charges flow. Now, you can have both negative and positive charges going the same direction. <clears throat> and you'll have to decide whether the net effect is that you got more negative or more positive, and that will determine whether this current is plus or minus. But the current, by definition, is the direction of positive charge flow. That's its definition. Now, what about the units? Well, the units are given the symbol A, and they stand for the amp or more precisely the ampere, named after a famous physicist. And they are a coulomb 
divided by a second, which is straight from the definition.